Okay, I am so excited. My, my new camera came today, and I'm gonna do an unboxing with all of you here. I have been waiting for this. One of them got lost, ended up in Bakersfield after they sent it to my post office. <gasps> Let's see. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Oh my goodness. Wow, HD video camera sunglasses. This is just too cool. Okay, let's see what's in here. I'm opening up. There's a case. Look at that. Okay, this is the case. And a cleaning rag. Oh, I guess that's like you clean your sunglasses. Cool. And there they are. Oh, there's more. Okay, so there's the glasses. Let me move this out of the way. This is the box. And it comes with camera, sunglasses, and this is the instructions. It needs a 32 megabyte stick, which I already bought. It's the mini stick. What do they call this thing? The micro stick. And this one came with an adapter. I bought this. This was separate. I bought it on eBay. It was real cheap. I get most of my stuff from there. And this is the plug. So this plug, you just undo this. And you plug this into your computer. This is the only way really from what I've heard you can charge it with is your computer. And this goes into the glasses. And it's got a little rubber thing. You just, just lift it up and it swings. And that's it. Now you plug them. I've got to charge them up. So I'm going to go do that. And then the other thing is, these do not have any internal memory. So, okay, it's the other side. On this side, right inside here, you pop the stick in. And I'll try to get a close up so you can see that. You just pop the stick in, and that's it. First, they have to be charged. So you wanna charge them up, I guess four hours they say, but what happens is you'll plug it in, and you'll see a red flashing light and once the red flashing light turns blue, then it's charged. From what I understand, and this is the research I've done, it's good if you unplug it and do it a few times and make sure, well, I've done, I, this is our second pair, to be honest. We bought the first pair. And Gary and I are like two kids. We're going to fight over the glasses. So it doesn't matter. I bought it for me, and then, then he wanted, and, and we both want, so we're both getting our own pair. And this way, it's better that way too, because I get real finicky with my stuff. I like keep it really, really clean and everything really perfect. And uh, sometimes he'll just throw it in his pocket and I'll have stuff. I have my Barbie dolls. They look like, when I was a kid, they look brand new because I kept everything clean. But okay, I diverse. We're going somewhere else. Anyways, the glasses are phenomenal. So when you first get the pair, if you decide to get a pair, plug it in and charge it. It will open up a folder. You'll see two folders. One will be where your photos go, and the other folder will be like just a program where you can write something in, and the date will be off. It won't be the right date, and you can change the date. So you just, when you plug it in, you open it up, and you put the date and the time that you want. And then once you close it up, when you record, you'll have the date and the time, and I'll show you that. But this is just like, I mean, come on. Look how cool this is. Let me close that little flap because these are brand new. They got to be charged. Now, come on. If I go to a farmer's market and I look around at the produce and stuff, do you think they're really going to know I'm taping them or recording? Wow, you can go to the doctor's office. Of course, I'll be wondering why you're wearing sunglasses. Well, you maybe don't want to do that there. But you can go anywhere that you can wear sunglasses and just wear it out. You can tape. The camera is right on the top. So what's good from 
is like when you're taping, keep in mind that you're looking out this way, but the camera's here. So just slightly tip your head a little bit when you're walking around and you're taping. When you're taping, there'll be a flashing light and the light will be flashing when it's taping. When you're not taping, it'll be solid. There's a button and you press the button and you can take photographs too. So you can press and take photographs. Basically what we wanted it for, for us, is when I kind of walk around the garden sometimes and I might be doing something and I want to be hands-free and not be propping up a camera, I can do small things with the glasses. The other thing too is when I go to the nurseries, I kind of like to look around and if I see something unusual, I can just make sure the glasses are recording and I can keep track of what I see. I mean, geez, your world is open to anything. I mean, I wouldn't be doing anything bad. But, um, you know, you, I, I can think of so many uses. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. And now, we, you see where it comes with? It comes with a really good solid case. Let's take this off. Okay, I definitely, would always store the glasses in the case, regardless. If you're not using them, fold them up and put them in the case. Keep them in the case. Uh, you can store this in the bag it came in. That's what I would do, just store them in the bag. And when you store them, I always like making sure I've got the instructions around because it's so easy to lose instructions. I mean, you might be one of these that like, you know, one of these people like to scan everything and put it on their computer. They'll work too. But you know, just put the instructions in with your cable and then if you need to look back on something, you've got it. Your little rag, I'd put it in there. And look, you can tie a plant with that. No, I don't know. You can do what you want. Here's a quick close-up of what came. There's the box. Here's the full instructions that came with it. There's not much to it, to be honest. There's the cord that came, the little cleaning rag. The case, which is quite nice, it's a good solid case with a hook on it, so you, if you had to hook it on to a backpack or something. And of course, the glasses. The button is right there, I don't know if you can see it. It's right there, there's a button there. It's hard to see, because you know, it's black. And then this is where I'm gonna put the stick in. The stick is gonna slide right inside. So there is the handle and we're going to slide the stick in. Okay. Just slide it in. And that's it. It snapped in. And now we are good to go. So when you close it, you won't see the stick at all, but you'll see it there for you to slide out. But that's that's what came with it. And you know what? What can you say for $20? And again, this did not come with it, but you will need a 32 megabyte micro stick to run these. This particular pair has no internal memory. Some pairs do have it, but I, I got the stick for $12 free shipping on eBay. So keep an eye out. You can use probably any brand. It doesn't have to be a SanDisk. You can use any brand. Just make sure it's 32 gigabytes or smaller because it can't go bigger. But anyways, I'm going to go use it. I'm going to show on, on the end how it works here. And here's the stick again. There is no internal memory on this pair. This pair was $20. Free shipping. We're talking a camera for $20. I, and and oh, they're so nice. You need the, the micro sticks because, like I said, it goes right inside the little slot there. You'll see the pins, which way to put it in when you look. If you're not sure, take a flashlight, but you can see the pins. I can see the pins. And you just line up the pins and slide it in, and then you're good to go. The way you can actually take your pictures off is use the cable that came with it, and you plug that into your computer. It should recognize it or download the little drivers it needs and then you can open it up just like you would a camera, just like you would if you were putting in, plugging in your, your cell phone. You go in there and you take the photos you want off on your computer. Do you need a computer? Yes, you need a computer to see. You cannot see anything in the glasses. You, the only thing you've got is a camera lens, so you're not, you don't have an LCD or anything to see anything it's taken. Um, 
if you get them, test them. Test them really good so you get used to using them. I haven't used it yet. So we just tested the first pair we got a little bit and they were just so great. I, I'm telling you, I may get a third pair just to have. Um, keep one in the car, or in my purse or something. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I always tell my husband he can use anything I have, anything I go out and buy for myself. And all I say is if you break it, I get the next thing better. He has to go buy me. He hasn't broken anything yet, so I, don't, I haven't gotten anything really that good yet. But anyways, we both now have a pair of glasses, so you'll see Gary running around doing stuff with his glasses. And like I said, I'm, I want to go to a farmer's market and use it at a farmer's market. I'm going to use it in the garden off and on. I won't be photographing birds with it because birds, you can't get close enough. But, you know, you could do the grandkids. You can go to uh, some of their little shows if they're out on the school field and see what's going on just put glasses on just record if I don't feel like bringing my camera but I think I think they look pretty cool I don't have a mirror do you think I look really cool I don't know anyways you will need a stick um, the maximum size is 32 so don't get anything bigger if you decide to get this camera it will only use a 32 it can use something smaller but right now, the only size they take is a 32, and that's plenty. Believe you me, you're not going to use it all up. It can record on a full charge for about four hours. It does do it in segments, I, I had heard. I haven't tried it out, you know, for any length of time yet. Like I said, we just got our first one a few days ago, and we charged it up, and Gary ran around, did a little bit with it. I have not even used it yet. And I said, nope, I got another one coming. So we, like, like I said... Both of them were ordered at the same time. One got here, and the other one took a trip somewhere after it got here. You know, it happens. Took a trip, probably wanted to go on holiday somewhere, and then it came back. But it, it did make it here in one piece, so I'm good to go. So now, let's go check it out and see what the videos look like on here. Let's go. Now I have the glasses on. And just kind of want to show what they look like. The sun is going down. Here's the piles of wood chips my husband's moving. See how dark these are? These are breaking down already. He's been moving them. This is big chunks. He's moving them somewhere else because that will take longer to break down when they're so big like that. So this is testing the glasses. Look at the papayas. Look at that. That beautiful? Okay, and my pomegranate tree is already going to finally lose its leaves. And more papayas. There's a lizard. Oh, he's stuck. Let's rescue him. Okay, since there's nothing in here. You're stuck in here. No, no, I'll help you. You can't get out. I'm going to have to. There you go. Make a big pile so you can get out because this is. Nothing's in there yet. In fact, I'll turn it over. Okay. A moringa tree growing there. There's my big moringa tree, my collard. So these are the glasses. And, you know, it's, it's got a lot of useful things I would say to it. Let's say I'm working on something online and somebody's going to show me something. If somebody's teaching you something and you're afraid you're going to forget, put the glasses on. You can always go back and download it onto your computer and look at whatever somebody showed you. So you could have that recorded. Somebody's telling you something you want to remember. Turn your glasses on. But this is the glasses, and I think they look pretty good. I think I will find uses for it. I have two hands I can use now. So if I wanted to do something or show you something or pick up rocks, you know, I can work with two hands. And I think that will be really cool for certain things. It's never going to be as good as your regular camera. But it will have its uses. If I was going to show something in particular in the center, you know, of something, I could show it and pick some leaves off to put into the compost. So I'll see as time goes on, I'll probably come up with all kinds of things I can use this for. And I'll figure that out. 
So with that, I will say go. don't forget to eat what you grow. And I'm also going to end this at the very end, in case you're interested, how you change the date and the time on there. It goes by military time. So, you know, if it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon, it's going to be 13. And it goes year, month, and then day. So kind of like European. You know, you're going to do it that way. So with, that's all you really need to know. The instructions, were there was very little instructions with it. It's more of a trial thing. See how it works for you. And you learn by trial. There's another one of those I picked up for a quarter. I read the whole yard's been lit up at night. Like I said, the sun is going down. Look at they've been writing in the sky. So with that, I guess that's it. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me. Um, I like it. I'm going to find different uses to use it for. It won't be an everyday thing, but it will be for specific things. So don't forget to eat what you grow. And at the very end, I'll show you what happens when you plug your glasses into the computer for the first time or any time you'll see the folder where your photos and your videos will be and then you'll see the program the one the one document that you will have to open up if you want to have the correct date and time in there and it's so simple don't get upset if you plug in your glasses again and see an old date and an old time because it doesn't seem to change in the folder after you plug it in. It will, go, it will revert back when you plug in the glasses. It will look like it reverted back. What it's done is it stored the date that you programmed inside the glasses. So you will not see that, but it's there. I've, I have done this many times now. I plugged it in and unplugged it just to double check it and test the glasses. And even though the date may not look right, on the program there that you changed, it will be right on your glasses. So with that, don't forget to eat what you grow, and I'll show you that at the end. Bye-bye, all. Okay, so I plugged in the camera for the first time. This is a folder that would have photos. There's no photos because I have not used the sunglasses yet the sun, for taking pictures. There is the folder, the document to change the date. And the date we know is wrong, so let's change that right now. To 17 and this is European so we're gonna have to change it a little bit 12 and then that is the date which the date today is the 27th and the time is 738 so that would be 19 38 that's it now when I go to close it, I think I can come up here and just hit save. Now if I go back later, it may not have the same date, but don't worry. Once you hit save, the camera's been already programmed and the date you put in there and the time will be there. And that's it. Now you close it and you're good to go and you're all done. It's that simple.